Hello everybody, this is David with another Verilog video. This time I'm going to show you a 4x1 multiplexer in Verilog. So here's the module itself right here. There's actually two different ways you can do it. And that's why I have the commented out parts right here because this is the other way. And I'll simulate them both and we'll see them both working the same. So let me go through the module. So I'm going to have four inputs, each of three bits, and a select input of two bits because we have four inputs we need at least two bits and then an output of three bits of mux out which will be one of these inputs and this is the logic for it right here the assigned statement this is the um, ternary operator the conditional statement so you just embed them inside each else um, else part so essentially this part right here well, actually, this whole part right here is included in this one's else. And I just wrote it a little bit differently, but this is essentially a 4 to 1 multiplexer right here. And the other way you can do it is you can make this a register and then use an always block. So at any change in input right here, it'll look at the case of the select input. And select is 2 bits, can have 4 values from 0 to 3. And so in any case of select, um, mux out will be assigned the appropriate input. So basically the appropriate input will slide through the circuitry onto mux out based on the value of select. Here's the simulation for it. I create registers for the inputs and wires for the outputs. Instantiate the module under test. I call it mux right here. I named all the signals the same in the test bench as I did in the module. And so we just have an initial block here. So I set all the registers to an initial value. I'm setting, setting in 1 to 1, in 2 to 2, in 3 to 3, in 4 to 4. I set select to 0. So we're selecting in 1 first. And then I'm just going through the select um, each Two bit value so 0 1 2 3 and then 3 2 or actually 2 1 0 back down take a two minute tick delay and then finish the simulation I already ran the simulation here it is all four of the inputs are the aqua colored ones up here the select is yellow and mux out is green and you'll see that as we step through the timeline from left to right we start out with select at 0, 0, so mux out should be the value of whatever in 1 is, and it's 1. And so as we increment through select, the next value of mux out is the next input, and then the next input, and then the next input, and then as we come back down. So you can see that mux out matches in 1 based on the value of select. And there's a 4 to 1 multiplexer in Verilog. I'll take you back to the code so you can check it out. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait, hold up. I forgot to go back and switch the code in the MUX to the other version and simulate that. So I went back and did that, and I'm restarting the video. But I commented out what we had before and then uncommented. So MUX out is a register, and it's being controlled in an always block down here using a case statement. Um, same exact simulation. So I'll just come over here and click run simulation, run behavioral simulation. There's a window, you probably can't see it, but there's a little green line going back and forth. It's going through the run simulation step. Now see, you see over here in this window, the simulation has popped up. And let me get it in view here. I will change the colors back to the same. As it was before really quickly <clears throat> and as you can see the simulation is exactly the same as it was before so yep so I just didn't change this to binary as it was before to make it look exactly as it was before there we go now that's the exact same way we had it before so there you have two different ways to do a four to one multiplexer oops there we go. Here's the code in Verilog. Thanks for watching. This time it really is goodbye.